I made it, Pops. Tie a dang fishing knot very good. Look at that. He that thing looks like a dang Palomar knot. What is that thing? A Palomar biscuit? Yeah. <laughs> don't want real thick bread, you know. We gotta start watching our carbs. I do. Y'all don't, but I do. So yeah. Real thin. Y'all made a dang Palomar this. biscuit. You hear me? Huh? I said you better enjoy this. First, first, first practice day of the new season. This ain't gonna happen again the rest of the year, I, I guarantee. I guarantee. It's guarantee. gonna happen tomorrow. <laughs> no, nah, we're gonna have these for breakfast tomorrow. No. What is that? Swinney's nubs. You can have y'all the nubs you want. Hey, hey, I'm I'm about about put hair on your chest. I bought hey. them, them a back out because he's like this. He's over there. He's like this. I'm laying in bed and he's like this. <laughs> I was doing it with this. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, it looked, I, I went it down and back, back up it, and I went down it again, and dude, he come around. <laughs> I thought it was a mouse, he thought dude. something had got on him. Oh, That's what we hit the boy with last night. So we got it. We got us a new jerky sponsor this year, buddy. Shiner stash. See that? Shiner stash. Made in the foothills of North Carolina. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring plenty to the tournaments, and you got all kind of flavors. So Swin, the guy who runs this company, great guy. He's a. Uh, I think that would work fine, right? That, that, that's, that's not for sale. That's venison. <laughs> Can't sell that. Do not eat. It's like Carolina Reaper chips. And he was cussing. He's over there. What? Well, I, I saw. It, I saw it on. On you know. You sent it to the group. Oh yeah, that's right. McCoy. <laughs> Just try. <laughs> what happens when you hit up the shatter stones, <laughs> twisted creeper, baby? That's hot. <laughs> What do you do? This. <laughs> well, McCoy, McCoy said a bad word. Yes. And, and, and he said it. He said it with with passion. Authority. He, he was said it with he passion. Was, I was like, I'm proud of McCoy. That's a dang good customer. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, the high. Mm -hmm. The high up here is about. I think it's like 58 or 59. Day. Low and. Here is 64. Right. I mean, Aster 64. Right. It's 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 every day it's that way. I've been checking it for a five month. Degrees. That's crazy. Yeah. So that means that the water's got to be five degrees warmer. And remember, last year it was. If you remember, yeah. I don't remember what exactly what the temperatures were, but it was five to six degrees warmer Tuesday. from Aster. Tuesday's gonna be nasty. Huh? Tuesday, last day of practice, 55. This is for Aster, 55 and 80 percent chance of rain. Really? I think it'll be 50 up here. Yeah, another cold front. What? Dude, it, yeah, it's, it's nasty this week. The highest it's going to get during the whole tournament in Aster is 49 at night. Yeah, that's a... That's a mess. That is a mess. But at least, at least we have a covered spot for the boat. So, first day of practice, we're gonna start it off like this. That's just the way it's gonna be. I'm not stressing about it. You know, for me, it's uh, 
you know, during our off season, it, it's, you go through a lot of different emotions, or at least I do. I, you know, take a break, of course. But, you know, the whole time, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm anticipating the year. I'm, I'm brainstorming lakes. I'm looking at maps. I've spent hours looking at satellite imagery. And, you know, I, I do all this envisioning of what day one's going to be like of practice. And, <laughs> I mean, you always worry that it's going to be bad weather, but that's usually not what you dream about, you know. But it's fine. You know, this year, I, I'm not, I'm good. We're just going to go, we're going to go with the best, option that we can come up with and that's what we're going to do you know we've got good rain gear we've got good gloves i'm just going to go have fun today it's a good day you know it's, it's going to make it complicated for a lot of people i think matt's window's down yeah it's down hey hey matt yep. your window's down dude You're kidding. no i'm not kidding Passenger side's down, bro. Oh. That's really, that's that's not good. I mean, that's brand new truck too. He's the only guy I know that can have like a black truck and it's raining and there's mud and it's still, still just clean. <laughs> Here's what's funny. I posted, I walked out, y'all may have heard me, I were over there filming, I walked out and I said, I said, yeah, I said, and I storied it. And I said, yeah, welcome to the 22 Elite, Elite Series, like that. Yeah. I, I deleted it, because I'm like, everybody's going to be like, you dumb, your windows down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Hey, Toyotas are waterproof. Everything about them is waterproof. It's a new waterproof version. Hey, Gore-Tex. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drive down to... Launch at Rodman instead of driving the boat. One thing to start in the rain. It's a second thing to start spend 30 or 45 minutes driving down a lake or the river in the rain. That's a different kind of. It's a different kind of start to the season. Got one. There we go. There we go. Uh. Nice. Thank you, Lord. What's up, dude? I love you. I love you. <laughs> there we go, guys. Not a big one, but it's a keeper. Thank you, dude. See you, man. It was aggressive. It was real aggressive.
So guys, I'm, I'm, I'm out here just trying to find some fish and some of these channel swings out here, but mostly where I caught this fish earlier were up on this flat right here. Kind of random. I, I don't I don't know. Here you got some channel swings and I, I'm thinking hard spots because there should be some shell beds in here. It feels it feels really rough. I mean that's definitely a hard spot right there. It's definitely like shell man. I'm really just trying some of this stuff out here. I don't know anything about this right here. I mean, there's there's mats that I need to go flip. There's some there's some other little channel swings close to the bank. But I just know there's a big population of fish out here in the middle of this thing. I just haven't been able to find them. Now, being that it's getting closer to the spawn, these fish in February, I mean, they gotta be thinking about getting up there on that bank. So, they might not be out here in the middle. January, they'd probably all be out here in the middle. They might migrate slightly. We just got to keep trying, moving around a little bit. It is getting colder by the minute. I am freezing. Come out. We gotta get out of here, man. All right, well, a little bit past the midday update. The update is I'm not catching crap. Now, Canterbury's caught several nice ones. Well, not nice ones, but he's got several keepers today doing something a little different in Robin. So, um, and that's a good thing. I kind of probably expand a little bit up here. You know, I spent so much time on that offshore stuff just trying to get something to happen, and evidently it's not. So I'm going to run up here. There's some more offshore stuff up here, some pads. Um, just really need to really need to kind of figure out another way of catching them. Because right now, I'm, I'm, I've, I've kind of wasted a lot of time, eliminated some water. But, you know, that's what practice is about. You know, I'm not too, too really worried about it. So we'll uh, have, a, have a good feeling we're going to catch a few here this afternoon. Those boys over there are catching them. Boy, that's a big one. Those guys right there in that boat are holding one up right now. That's like a 10 pounder. They're holding it up, taking pictures. Those guys got a giant on again right there. That's another 10 pounder. Hard to say if you can get bit here or not. A lot of times on Okeechobee, you can't get bit when they're catching on shiners. Very good. But mm, that's a good bite. I love that. There's one right there. Don't, don't, don't. Don't, don't. Right there, guys. That could be a good sign. Got a bite on the mat right back there. Pad bite right here. Some good looking pads over there. 
Mm -hmm. All right. You know, the one thing that I'm that I'm a little frustrated of, I've, I've wasted too much time today. I need to be I need to be more efficient. I, I haven't really tried to get in a hurry. But I've I've wasted a little time, too much time. So I need to be better at that in the next two days. There you go. Little wacky, wacky situation. Two pounder. I like this because it's yeah, you know, it's it's basically close as you can get to a shoreline. Two and a half, three feet of water. Good deal. All right, dude. Cool. Can't tell if they're spawning in here or if they're just in here. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a big one. That really is a big one, guys. <laughs> fish hey buddy what's up man what's up very cool check it out guys i think i figured out a little pattern see these little little tiny lily pads so i got those two bites and then there was no lily pads and then I just noticed them again. I waypointed right there because I thought, oh, that probably. Is. And then I saw some more out here. The first cast out there on them. I think they're spawning on these pads. That's good. Okay. Maybe something. There's another big one, dude. Oh, gosh. Oh my gosh. I ain't made 20 damn casts out here. That's that's a four and a half, five pounder right there. Every one of them in the same little zone, like just right off the, right off the, uh, well, they're just spawning out here, dude. That's what they're doing. I'm feeling good now. I went from a, from a terrible damn day. That's the damn fat one right here. Look at this one, guys. Look at that. <laughs> oh, we figured out something there towards the end of the day. That's good. That's really good. You know, I'm just not sure what these fish are going to do for the tournament. Look at that, guys. A beautiful fish right there. Woo! <laughs> I love it. What's up, man? What's up, man? How was it? It's all right. Okay. You're great. Come on. Bunch of fish. Oh. No, not really. It got a little cold.
You too, man. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Where are you guys from? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Today was um, frustrating. I wasted a lot of time trying to make some stuff happen that just couldn't make happen. So that was probably my main issue because when I got up to the section of the lake that I like, things got things got way better real quick. So kind of torn on what to do for tomorrow. You know, if it gets down like water temp in the 50s, what's gonna happen? You know, got some bites. Got to sort of figure out what's best. A lot of practice to be done. About at least 22 more hours of practice. <laughs> fish all day long and then the last 30 minutes just like brick. he found the glory hole i know did you catch any more no that's crazy caught the dang giant and no more bites i uh, i know i burned that one for the week <laughs> <laughs> i'd have never fished there anyway isn't that, isn't that crazy how many because you, you said you went and go start running the wood pattern and i didn't first, i didn't first couple long. minutes you catch a big one Big, big one. I didn't think it was a bass. Did it hit hard? Like, dude, like, wreck it? Yeah. I didn't think it was a bass. I was fighting it around. I was like, I bet you was glad you had them boots, wasn't you? Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, a little late for Skitty. Let me take a picture of it. It's a giant dog. Dang, dude. Look at you. What is that, a goatee? Oh, but you had a little goatee right there, like a little. Why are you zooming in on my face, dude? I mean, there's a nine pounder in the picture, and he's zooming in on my face. Look at that, that, that dude. That's a big in there. <laughs> <laughs> I love that look. <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. You kind of look constant. Then I caught a dang good one. Dang. Dude, what's in his mouth? A bagley. My lipless. You shoved it in his mouth in the picture, No. And then I caught Shameless a Shameless sponsor right. plug. Let's go. Y'all ready to go eat? We got, there's like 20, it, I didn't know it was that far. Cause he just sent me a pin to it and it's on the back, it's right there on the back side of the lake, but we gotta go that way and back around to it. We're going to uh, the Florida Whitetail Heaven Lodge. I've never been there. So, uh, cool. I'm gonna go check it out. This is where they Take do a all their, lot of their uh, turkey hunting. Turkey hunting, yep. I don't think they do any deer hunting down here. They might do a little bit. Hey, what's up, man? Good to see you. Hey, hey, hey Scott. Hey, Tevis. Tevis, pleasure you. to meet you, Yes, sir. You too. Hey, what's up, McCoy? Good to see you, man, buddy. Boy, uh, yesterday. Yeah, we sure did. What's this up, is... fellas? Right, there's a guy. Yes, pleasure what's to meet up, you. What's up, buddy? What's going on? How you doing? Good to see you again. This is one of the big deer guides here. How you doing, man? Good. Good? What'd y'all do today? Chase some turkeys around? Yeah. I well, saw, saw 20 of them today, today, probably. Yeah, there's a ton yeah. of them around here. Yeah. The field, yeah. So. Uh huh. Yeah, we seen, we had lunch down there on the St. John's right there by Astor. We seen a few pros go by. Oh, yeah. yeah boats down yeah, there yeah. fishing. Y'all got turkey down there, too? Yeah, yeah. Land down there, yeah. too? Well, hell, it's not far. It's, it's about 25 minutes away. Yeah. 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 But we ate over there at Blackwater. It's a good restaurant. It sits right on the water. Okay, right. right yeah. It was cold today. I know. Look at this old car. Get in there, twins. <laughs> Look at this. That's a great fish. Deal in here now. So, so we are, which you probably know this by now, but we're we're at, at Whitetail Heaven Outfitters, which Florida Lodge. The Florida Lodge, yes. And it's also a casino. How much you got to put in? Three. But you can put how many you want to put in. Let's, 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 test, let's, test, let's test her luck here. Oh! Hang on a second. I got it set up to take all the kids' allowance. 
What do you hit? These. Oh. That was terrible. Come on now, show me what you got. Going to save. Uh oh. Bam! There we go. We got some bells. We didn't win anything. What happened? Oh, oh we got credits. Man. Oklahoma deer, I'll take it. Probably Kentucky. No, well, it's got the Oklahoma tag, but uh, maybe may not. Boy, here's your deer. This is the right your size. <laughs> this is what you can hunt. Right here. Those are from South Africa. Gotta start yeah. somewhere. Those little babies. <laughs> South Africa. A Steinbuck and a Dick Dick. Yep. A Dick Dick. dick, dick. It's a Dick Dick. <laughs> but not very big Dick Dick. Let me eat a Yeah. Well, a lot of times you uh, run up, shoot them running with shotguns. Really? But, or you turn them off. Shoot them with rifles. Yeah, whatever. Nice. Thank you, Jack. The latch string is always out. <laughs> Appreciate it. Very Come back. Come back anytime. Hey, see you later. Yes, sir. Good luck. Yeah, get the boys up. Time to Dude, <laughs> Heck, man, the new Billy. <laughs> Freaking bugs on me, dude. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, breakfast ready, coffee's ready. Really? Good red diamond Colombian coffee in there. You got the red diamond coffee? Heck oh yeah, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was yeah. a lot of fun getting up this morning. Last night, our RV ran out of power because I think the plug melted. It looked pretty jacked up. Yeah. And then um, it got really cold, huh? really dark, and it my melted. bed is soaking wet because it was also leaking the night before. It's great. It's awesome. Really awesome. Same breakfast? Same breakfast. I'll say that like it's a bad thing. No, I didn't say it's a bad <laughs> thing. The look so good. good. Oh my gosh. How'd you wrap those things up like that? I did it a little different today. It looks it looks like one of them. Uh, a little better today. Wow. Get a, <laughs> get a, give me a pen where I can open it. I I it's, it's, it's in there. You made breakfast again? Yeah. All right, you're allowed to get up at 5 every morning. It's so good. <laughs> at 5 at 5, he left the room. I was like, where's he going? Yeah, he was in there cooking. That's Chef Boyer Scott. Yeah, is that what I smell? Hey, mm -hmm. I made. I went ahead and cooked the spaghetti last night for tonight. Really? We got it in the crock pot. All I got to do is warm it up. Can make that one right there. Really? Are you looking at them to see what? Yeah, I'll see which one's the biggest one. <laughs> <laughs> like, like my brother. I stuck, I I stuck up. my finger in that one too. By the way. No. <laughs> I thought it was curdled. I was like, wait a minute. I thought it was going to come out in chunks, actually, for a minute. There we go. Now I can embrace the money. Now you can embrace I like my cream and my coffee. No sugar. Just cream. Oh, they warm now. We're like crawling into a fire pit. Huh. It's not even that cold. I'm just a wuss. On Robin, my dad used to fish there all the time back in the 70s and stuff. He lived up here and and, uh, and, and would film a lot of Robin in the river. Anyways, he said the biggest bass that he didn't catch. I was asking one day, what's your biggest bass? He said, well, I'm going to tell you about the biggest one I didn't catch. I said, what are you talking about? 
So he was shiner fishing, and he would make his own shiner hooks and put his own weed guard on it, like take wire and like wrap it. And then that's what he used for those big logs. And he hooked this big fish down there in Blue Springs in Rodman on one of those mats. And it ran him up underneath there and got stuck in a tree and broke the line off finally. After he got up there and was trying to get it out, he could see the fish pinned on the log. It was seesawing back and forth. He said it was the biggest thing he's ever seen. Broke the line. So he's like, dang. So a couple days go by, and one of his buddies, dad said, go up there. Some big ones biting. So dad's buddy was sitting there fishing, and he catches a 14-and-a-half pounder. And when he picked the fish up out of the water, it had my dad's shiner hook in the, about this much line sticking out of his mouth. Oh. Oh, so gosh. when he got back to the thing, he said, Roland, I caught your fish. 14, 14 and a half, half pounds. pounds. Jason Menninger, a guy that fished on the FLW tour, he bought this property. It's called 333 Lodge. We'll drop a link in the description. He has houses here. He has an RV park. He has these bungalow things. He's building this whole, I mean, it must be 10 acres right here, right on Lake Crescent. Perfect spot. Boat ramp, nice little marina, tackle shop. We're about to go in and grab a few things. But this is a cool deal. He's getting all this fixed up. He's got these bungalows, uh, little cabins there, a pool. I mean, this is the uh, most convenient thing ever. Hey, this spot nice, dude? Thanks for the ride. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> now, this, this, is, uh, this is the deal. 333 Lodge. So if you guys want to come, it's it's perfectly located close enough to Palatka that you can go to Palatka and go to dinner. You, Crescent City's right here, so you, you can obviously go eat in Crescent City. You can drive 30 minutes to Astor and fish down the lower part of the chain. You can fish right here on Crescent in this part, or you can drive up north. I know there's a lot of high school tournaments that go on here on the St. John's River, so great spot to house your whole bass fishing team right here. Oh, looky here. Dang. Should have a couple more merchandise coming. Having trouble sourcing stuff. Yeah. Particularly from Shimano, we can get all the high end stuff and we can get the cheap stuff. We can't get the mid range stuff. Yeah, right. You know? Check this out. Oh, I knew it. I knew I loved this place. Check. <laughs> How about that? The Heo action right there. Oh, yeah. Popping up everywhere, guys. I'm telling you, the Heo glasses are super legit. They're doing really, really well. I think we're up to 500 retailers right now, which is way above where they, they thought they would be. So um, they're, they're doing well. The heels are nice. Here they come. They're gonna bust. I told you. Oh my gosh.
awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Done with that. You know, it's like uh, trying a couple different deals here because I think there's another small school right here. I'm just trying to see what's up with that and then just kind of watching what I've noticed which is cool is the size of the bait that they're feeding on which is little so I'll put this little thing on right here we find something that they'll key in on we can really catch them that jerk bait they bit it but they, that was really just replacing the bait for the most part they're schooling like that you know you can catch them if what you want to do is find something that I can just yo-yo around out here get a bite or two on go I want to hit it again So you got a five pounder? You can show the GoPro the picture I sent you. This is what you just caught, huh? Dang, dude. It's, it's oh my gosh, they're schooling like crazy on my other spot. Like big ones, dude. These gotta be stripers. Those gotta be stripers or something. Oh my gosh, they're knocking bait in the air. Dead on the waypoint, dude. Oh, where you caught them? Yeah, here, I'll FaceTime you. I'm gonna catch one. Seagulls diving on him. See the seagull? Is that where you caught him just a minute No, ago? no, this is another spot. My only second spot I've been to. Holy cow, look at the ripples in the water still there. There's seagulls flying around. I don't see them. Dude, they were busting like crazy. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Isn't it pretty? Dude, that's a pretty one. You you the big fish master. You just jacking them. That means I'm gonna catch nine pounds in the tournament. You know that, right? Dude, they're on this stuff, right? Dude, they were blowing up like you can't believe. Say they're busting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Some big ones right here. I hadn't seen a bass bust. Golly. Look at that thing. Well, that's cool. That is a big one. Right there, guys. That is awesome. First one. Ah, oh, dang, dude. That's freaking crazy, bro. Look at that. Spinnerbait action. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm liking it. I'm liking it, guys. I'm liking it. Right there, I'm liking that now. Yes. <laughs> 
Yes. Bam. Are they acting like they're bite? I don't know. I hadn't really got I hadn't really I hadn't really got close enough to one to see how she reacts. I mean she's not going too far from the bed, but she's not locking down either. I'm watching her now, now that I know where she's at. The male just huh? ate my bait. The males really? are two and a I half. Two 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 and a half. I was like Yeah, two and a half. It ate it. A little wacky worm. I'm just throwing a wacky worm in there. She's acting decent. She's probably seven. Well, guys, we got in this little creek right here, and that male bit twice. There's a seven pounder with her, with him. And then there's a dang 10 pounder over here somewhere. Somewhere around. Just don't know where that one went. Pads probably just a small one though I found him here last year it did me dirty for the tournament there's another one I guess I need to not set the hook anymore. So I've had five bites on this stretch right through here. I don't think they would weigh, but 10 or 11 pounds is the problem. So I don't know. I feel like, you know, based on Spinnerbait bite spent a lot more three and four and five pound fish. I didn't I didn't catch a big one today on the spinnerbait, but I, I, I mean, I, one looked like a three and a half four pounder. Another one was big that was coming all after it for sure. I just don't know how big. So uh, it's a bite, I think. Yep, it's a bite. Shoot. Dang it, dude. That was a four. Oh, 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 pretty good day. I just don't, um, I just don't know, you know. I just don't know what we're gonna have to adjustments we're gonna have to make for the weather. It's uh that's the the fun thing about tournaments is you gotta make a lot of decisions. You gotta predict the future and you gotta make good calls. And it's like what are these fish gonna do if the water drops another two or three degrees, which doesn't sound like a lot, but you know when when half the fish I'm catching are kind of spawn related. You know that does that does at some point runs the risk of of losing the bite. I think this is gonna be all in all a tough tournament just because it's gonna be completely off. Sun hasn't been out for two days. So the entire practice is gonna be cloudy and rainy. The entire tournament is gonna be sunny and cold. So they might. You think they might bite on those pads better? Yeah, they will on the pads. Well, they will. I didn't know it. Was gonna, I didn't even really look. Partly cloudy. Partly cloudy. It's gonna win. Five to fifteen? Five to twelve? Okay. Six five to ten the second day. Yeah. That's down here. Yeah. Partly cloudy, partly cloudy. Mostly cloudy on Saturday. It'll be yeah. about the same. You all have more sun than we've had. Yeah. That'll be probably fine, really. Yeah. We got it two nights, two different nights this week. We had it the first day I got here. 
I'm doing it again. We're watching soccer, really? Man, what the hell? Better than freaking news. The, you watch Fox News 24-7. I mean, there's nothing that happens in soccer. It's just a bunch of that right there. It's just that. 100% chance of rain tomorrow. And then throughout the week. Like Wednesday, our off day. Sunny. 64. High. Thursday morning, it's only 40 low. With a 65 high. That's pretty nice. From black. Yeah. That's black. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got... Chicken legs, pork loins, and filets. We need to do like pork or chicken and all. Yeah, if you want, if you want Jake or whatever, put one of them, put yeah. them pork loins in the trailer yeah. or the chicken legs or whatever. I did the chicken legs because they're wrapped in butcher paper instead of plastic. Okay. I knew you were watching cops because cops is to start till four. I'm so sweaty. Hang on, Matt. This scene right here reminds me of Matt. Did you touch my swim mates? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Did you touch my swim mates? Nope. Hey! Did you touch my swim mates? That's exactly what he would be doing. God! Did you touch my swim mates? <laughs> my left one's in the other box. It moved. I don't know what to do exactly. It's going to rain tomorrow. You know, my, my the dilemma is this. Do I go back to Rodman? I don't think, I don't know, I don't think so, because it's like, the fish and robin that I have are, are pretty much spawning fish. And if it knocks them off the beds, then, and that's the only option I have there, you're kind of stuck. At least here in the river, I have some flipping fish, some sight fishing fish, and some spinnerbait fish. So I have an Australian bed fish. So I have three or four different options versus running to Robin where if one thing, the one thing doesn't work, I don't know what, what I'm gonna do. If one thing doesn't work here, I've got a few other options. So I don't know. I'm gonna go to bed, I'm gonna pray about it. I'm gonna get up in the morning and we're gonna see what, what we decide here. I'm not gonna, just gonna leave it at that. So before we go, I do have a question for you. I need to pick a really good song for my walk-up song. Now, I did it in my travel vlog. I asked everybody to kind of drop some comments down below, and that's going real well. But I'm going to ask again. I need a good walk-up song. I want a clean walk-up song. I want something that's cool, right? Um, probably rock or some type of rap. I like country, but I just don't really think that's going to be my walk-up song. So, drop some comments below. Let me know what we should do for a walk-up song for the Bassmaster Classic. Go to bed. so good you just wake up and eat one. You just wake up, you don't even do anything, you just eat one. Mm. Luscious. Uh, I mean, you get up, you crow like a rooster, you jump around, and then you lay here for at least an hour before you leave. Take a shower? Crap? Where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna go? My point exactly. <laughs> well, they're still hot. That was not big. Well, don't touch that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't touch it and put it back. I got all these uh, patches. I got, I'll tell you what I have. Is, I don't know if it's worth anything or not, but I have all these bass patches. Like oh, they yeah. used to give out the patches years ago. And, and uh, I've got a, a bag that's like, I don't know how many are in there. A couple hundred. Like St. John's River. I mean, they're really cool patches, man. These, like, these are your dad's or just something you collect? Yeah, yeah, my dad's. And... Um, he just, my, I guess my mom kept all the patches. Every time they'd go to a tournament, they'd give out patches. So we've got like St. John's, and it's got like a little cartoon figure and like a cowboy or something, you know, fish in the river. And then it's got alligators and stuff for the ones at Okeechobee. And you cool. fall, it's got, you that, know, different things. That is cool. I wish, I wish they still did that. Yeah. I don't know. You remember that jacket gave, that Billy I put on? I gave top five yeah. or top ten trophies. What's the score that I wish they did? I think you told me when we were standing. That was my grandfather's jacket. It was just his bass club jacket that he... Oh, that was your grandfather's? Yeah, my grandfather's. So a lot of people, but, you know, obviously my dad fishes. <laughs> but my mom, 
fished with my dad, I mean my grandfather. Kind of like Hillary fishes with me. Mm -hmm. So my mom was ate up with fishing from the, from the get go. And then met my dad at a bass tournament. So my mom was fishing tournaments and was winning tournaments as a woman back then. And she was literally one of the first women to fish bass tournaments. Like to the point that, that when she wanted to fish tournaments, people, the organizers didn't even know what to say. They didn't, they weren't thinking, they didn't know. They're like, this is a men, like for guys. Like they didn't, it was, they didn't even really, want, bad damn, yeah, they didn't even <laughs> really know what it is. Cause they were like, how, how are you going to go to the bathroom? How's the guy going to like, it's, it's, it was real kind of groundbreaking really. That's how she met your dad mm -hmm. at, at, at the a tournament. tournament. Uh -huh. Yep. Really? Yeah. Yeah. She was all boned up in one of these big snowmobile suits. And Bill Dance knew my mom and my grandfather. And my, my mom was waddling up the bank with a bag of fish and, and had this snowmobile suit on and everything. And, and, and my, my dad was like, thought it was a guy. He goes, who's that right there? Who's that guy? He's, and Bill Dance said, that's no guy, that's Marianne Martin or Marianne Colbert. And he said, that's a woman? And he said, yeah. And she got up there and, and got in the bag line and then took her, her hood off and stuff and her hair fell out of the hood. And he was, my dad was like, holy damn. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> this is funny. Go do my thing today. Yeah. Y'all get your stuff done. Jack's gonna be a mechanic today and actually yeah. do the whole boat. Come back, it's all gonna be done. He's gonna be a power pole and installator. 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 Well, I'm yes, gonna get that's as a much word. I can done. I don't I'm know. I know, I have faith in you. Do you? I do, actually. Yeah, there we go. Bing bong. Oh, decisions, decisions. You know, that's the thing about this uh, this event here. It's like so many different options. I mean, you've got the springs, the lake, the rivers, Rodman. It's, um, it'll put your stomach in knots. But you know what? I'm just going to go. I'm going to go see what happens. And what happens out here will dictate a lot of my decision. That's all I know. And so we're going to run over here and then pull out and, um, and then head back over to the river and see what we can get going on the river because they're biting on the river. But the, but the difference is, is that it's gonna get calm and sunny and that can make that swim jig and the spinnerbait bite get tougher. I don't think it's gonna help it. I don't think it's gonna make it better. It's gonna make it tougher. So, and calm and sunny can make, you know, the, 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 the pad bite even better. These are just little, little tiny ones, dude. Oh. I 
I need to go. I can't win it here. If I'm gonna win a tournament, I can't win it right here. This is this isn't gonna work. I'm not starting off here. This could develop as other things slow down, but I, I don't think so. I think I gotta go, guys. It's time to get out of here. Got enough bites on the river yesterday. Canterbury's getting enough bites on the river. Matt's getting enough bites on the river. That's where it can be won. Five pounders there. Six pounders, nine pounders. Let's go, boys. Let's pull this off. All right, so what we're gonna do over here, guys, is we're going to uh, spinnerbait and swim a jig. See if we can't find a couple stretches that get some confidence, you know? The most important thing is confidence. I haven't got a bite on a swim jig yet. I know Canterbury's getting some bites on. He's really good with that swim jig. But nevertheless, I need to um, just get a couple bites. It's real important to see it happen, get a few bites, and then I can roll with it. Okay. That looked pretty. Okay. All right, guys, let's get this going. Let's get it going. Oh my gosh, smoked it, knocked it, side, knocked slack in it, guys. Right there on that, um, there on that little log. Well, this afternoon, guys, has not been fantastic by any means. I've eliminated a lot of water, but I, what I think's happening is there's a bite window. I don't think I, I think I missed it. So, but I think I, I know what the bite window is. So that's good. It's a little strange to start a tournament off fishing in some places that I actually hadn't even got bit in. I just know they're in there. So. Caught them on the main river too. That little zone, there's a zone, there's about a five mile zone that I'm gonna basically focus on. I think this weather's gonna change. If I Hopefully I can catch a nice bag off the shell bed in the morning. If I can do that, then it changes things a little bit. I may go sight fishing. If I don't catch them on the shell bed, then I'm going to put the swim jig and a spinnerbait in my hand. Get five. If I have to run all the way down in the afternoon to flip pads, I will. I don't want to, but I will if I have to. That is about it right there. We got chicken quarters. We got some potato salad inside. We got some little potato, red potatoes. We got Cajun sausage and some little Italian sausage. In there. Now, you thought that was enough for five people? <laughs> it's a big thing. Like, look That's at That's a big it. thing. Big. No, but like. I thought it was the little, I was picturing the little potatoes. I don't know why. It doesn't matter how big or little. That's the same, that <laughs> box is the same size. Jake, Jake agreed with me. That's enough for five people. Everybody hey, get one now. You see the picture on the front? 
sliced potatoes, McCoy. It's sliced. It small. It's sliced potatoes. Say? He said, I thought they were little round ones. The Ready in six minutes. Serving size. Serves one. Serves three people. Is that what it says? Yeah. You know, I dropped out of college. Y'all just, y'all just don't. That's one thing y'all missed in life is, is like how to Common sense. go to the store. Common and buy sense. Stuff. Oh, oh. How'd you get into this? I didn't get into don't it. Don't eat raw cookie dough. Ooh. You got a day off tomorrow. He'll be all right. Don't eat raw cookie dough. Man, you crazy. That's a mess. Got raw eggs in it, man. That probably doesn't. I bet that does. And it's been open for a while. It's like, like a lot. Oh, oh, no. <sighs> Smells like. Take your big old bite. There you go. boy. Atta boy. It's good for the belly. This right here, I'm going to tell everybody that's a griller. Okay? That right there, Everglades seasoning, is the best seasoning on the planet. It really is. And I'm sorry that I'm eating and talking to y'all, but when you fish all day and haven't eaten a thing, you come home and you're just like tripping. A Hot Wheels car you got on one of the tracks. They're all wrecking. Oh. I don't, I don't understand how you can be better than somebody. But I, like, I don't understand this. I like quick it's fishing. timing, right? What's, Isn't it, it? what's it even called? Luge. Right. The luge. Yeah, it's a loose. Oh, that's a loose? Yeah, but like, how how do you get better than somebody else at this? Because you're just riding. You gotta steer it, dude. You do? Yeah. I mean, yeah. oh, you do steer it? Yeah. I thought it was just kind of just going along like a little Hot Wheels car on a track. No, that was the biggest guy. The biggest yeah. guy would do it then. Well, see, that's my, that was where I was confused. I was like, who was stopping you? They're just like NASCAR. They're up on a bike. How do they steer? Down here. <laughs> 71 <laughs> miles an hour. Yeah. Wow. The Traeger does it again. It's all on film. Those look good. Eat them up. Tell you what, guys, that little Traeger, that little Traeger, that's the uh, tailgater. Perfect size. Good. For this, it's perfect. Yeah. I mean, we've had six to eight people on the road with us for a couple of years. I've had that thing for, I think, four years in the back of my truck. It's never not been big enough for all the people that we cook for. These look good right here. Let's do that. Thank you, Traeger. They really are good, good grill guys. Check them out. We're gonna drop a link in the description below again, tailgater version. But they've got so many different kinds. But um, it's a deal. Man, if you're gonna buy a single barrel select, get something better than Jack Daniels. One of the best two, two of the best bourbons for the money, Eagle Rare, and um, Maker's Mark 46. Write that down. No need to ever pay more than like 40 to 50 dollars. For a bottle of bourbon. Really? Ever. Okay. No, you know, like people out there pay thousands of dollars really? for real fancy. Well, they're collectors. Drink a thousand dollars. I feel guilty. You drink like a If one of us wins a classic, <laughs> if, if I win the classic, <laughs> you're buying the bourbon. And if, if you win the classic, you're buying the bourbon. Are you pointing at me or them? And <laughs> I'm pointing at you. <laughs> I'm not pointing at them. We take bourbon donations too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's so far. oh, there's me it's raining mega bass shirt baits. Here, put that right in there. <laughs> Do me one more favor. Yes. Can you open that door? Because I have my hands full. Sure, boss. Oh, thank you. Anything else, boss? No, no, that's good. I'm going to go right tackle <laughs> okay. now. Hang out with everybody. Well, 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 well. Hmm. Okay. Practice is over. I tried to do this a couple times on the water today. The camera was messed up. Audio didn't work. So it was just like a, a little bit of a fiasco, but. I mean, you saw what happened today, right? I didn't catch a whole lot of fish, but, you know, for me, it's like it, today was today was a, a little bit of just kind of game plan out my tournament day. Like, I wanted to go check the fish at Rodman, see kind of what happened. Obviously, small fish there. You know, and, and, and you know, I, I wanted to catch them because I wanted to see really kind of what was there. Like, you know, I knew that there'd be some small ones mixed in the batch. But in my mind, like, okay, if I get three bites, two or three of them are like one pounds, and then you get a three or four pounder, and then, okay, you know, maybe that's a doable thing, because that's kind of what happened the other day in practice. The thing about tidal fisheries is that it's real situational with the exact tide that those fish are eating on, and I, th I think, 
I think we have that bite window narrowed down to, to where your best opportunity to catch fish. There's a there's a three or four hour window, and I, I think we know what that is. So tomorrow's our off day, and then the tournament's gonna start on Thursday. So that that bite window changes an hour. So in my mind, and I have to kind of make sure that I'm doing this right. You know, you caught them in these certain windows, but that moves an hour every day. And I've been on like uh, the Potomac River and stuff, and it is literally to the to the exact like minute when these fish start feeding. It's crazy. Um, and I think there's a little of that going on right now because these fish aren't necessarily spawning. They're actually feeding. They're gearing up. They're kind of pre-spawn. And so if they were spawning, it's a little different. Like in spawn, you can kind of catch them the whole time because they're they're not spawning based on the tide. They're there they're there the whole time. But on a on a situational deal like this tide, those fish will move up to the pads or in the pads, feed on bait, and then move back out of the pads or do go wherever they go. That's a mystery. Or sometimes they just sit there. They just don't feed. You know, it's like an opportunity time. So, you know, I think I figured that out a little bit. And uh, so tomorrow morning we're gonna get up. We gotta do a few things here. Get the boat ready. Get it cleaned up. And um, go in town for like I think there's a meeting and we have to take the boats and get them all ready and stuff. So um, that being said, dinner was good. Thank you, Traeger. And uh, we're gonna rig up some tackle and go to bed, guys. We'll see you in the morning. No wonder I didn't know what it's it not was. an angry cat. It's an enzyme. <laughs> oh, I'm you didn't sorry. know what enzymes look like? An angry cartoon cat. No, it's an enzyme. That's really what an enzyme looks like. Oh, really? It's for Startron. It's a Startron enzyme. Don't we have it's a special of... enzyme, specially formulated. He, eat, he eats grit and dirt, see? Don't uh -huh. we have a lot of those in our body, enzymes? Not well, those. this is a special one that gets uh, ethanol thing. out. This gets ethanol out and any uh, stuff that makes your engine run better. He eats it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. chews it up. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's good. So what's the difference like? So you know Ranger gives us that little thing of Lucas yeah. product. Yeah, so a lot of that stuff is oil-based. Yeah. Startron is fuel-based, so it evaporates, so there's no residue left over. Oil-based... Yeah, that's not good. ...leaves a little residue, so, you know, there's uh, there's other things you have to do if you use that over and over again. So Startron is better because it, it's just a cleaner burn. It's, it burns it all off. You know a guy can get some Startron? I got you covered, man. I, I've never used that Lucas oil, that Lucas stabilizer. Yeah. But I have used Startron. No, it's... They're, 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 uh, they're known for... They're known... Starbright and Startron is is the deal for sure. That's pretty cool right there guys. Very cool actually. I took a lot of blood, sweat and tears to get that sticker on my boat, that one right there. That was um, a blessing to be able to qualify for the elites man. That was a battle royale. So it, it does feel special putting that on. It's like your badge of approval. It's like your badge for the year. It's like, we did it. We did it. Hey, make it red. <laughs> What's up, dude? Hey, man. Good. How you doing? Good. Hey, how are you doing? Good. Doing well. Good to see you. <laughs> we got you on the poster. Yeah, for the classic. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, right. yep. mm -hmm. Okay, good. But, uh, anything you need to know about it, we're going to That's Monday night, right? Feed us, yeah, at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you want to come down here, we'll bring these guys. I'm the worst director ever. Good. And, uh, good. And then I'll call you and we'll discuss yeah. like how you yeah. normally anytime, do your format. Because we used to do them with yeah. Blood Check and those guys. Yeah. Um, Blake's going to be there, so. Well, we got to do some camera work now. This, I guess, is be where, if you make the finals, it puts you up on screen. Hold your pose. If you don't pass this part of it, they don't let you fish. You nailed it. And you did. There you go. Perfect. Looking good. Looking good. Very nice. Check this out, guys. This is Yellow This is, uh, I get a version, I don't know what, maybe five lamp or six. Power yeah. yeah, five years. <laughs> There's a lamp light on the top. It's got the place here for your GoPros, which we run the, under tournament rules, we have to have the uh, camera facing forward and showing the whole boat. So this works out great. Plus it's a great shot we use. So it is. the cameraman shot. This plugs right into the. Super easy. Plugs right into this. So. Right in your stern light. Yep, put that in and then 
Tighten that down. That has power to the uh, camera. USB ports. Yeah, you, you, USB ports right there. So, perfect. Good deal. All you want to do is set it and forget it so you can yeah. focus on the tournament <laughs> like Scott. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's really innovative stuff. So thanks, man. Yellow Tech's been leading the way. So guys, we'll obviously we'll drop a link in the description. But check it out if uh, you know if you want to film your fishing adventures or anything like that. You know, your uh, Coast Guard approved and you're filming everything at the same time. Because that was a problem. You had to take out the light exactly. and then put that in. It Run to mess. your first spot, pull it out, yeah. it. now just plug it mm -hmm. and go. Thanks, Thank man. Thank you. You See bet. Okay. See you guys. Thanks. All right, guys, that is officially it. The tournament's gonna start in the morning. We just finished our little briefing. We do virtual meetings throughout the year, so this will be our only like little huddle up for the year. We went through the rules, any rule changes we had. So I'm excited, I'm still, the whole time I'm sitting here, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do tomorrow, and I still have no idea. Uh, my gut's saying one thing, my heart's saying another, my brain's saying, I mean, it's, I'm all over the place here. That being said, guys, thank you so much for hanging out in this video, and uh, the very next video in this series is gonna be day one and day two. Uh, this Palaka and St. John's event. So, guys, smash the subscribe button. Tell all your buddies about it. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you. Boom!